Today, we signed the, basically the, the core self-governance agreement for the Métis Nation of Ontario with the Government of Canada. And we did that next to the Métis Nation of Alberta and the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan. All three of our governments signed these core self-government agreements, which provide recognition, finally, recognition from Canada of the Métis, uh, recognizing our, our government and essentially committing to moving forward on a path to full self-government, to a place where the Métis Nation of Ontario will actually be recognized as, as a third order of government in Canada. Métis were the forgotten people. You have fought to come out of the shadows. And today we take another important step. Now, Canada places a priority on a government-to-government -government relationship with the Métis Nation. Today we are demonstrating that Canada recognizes the rights of the Métis Nation of Alberta, the Métis Nation of Ontario, and the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, and we commit to working to ensure that your rights are not only respected, but implemented. It's an incredible achievement to, for the Métis Nation of Ontario and also uh, Saskatchewan and Alberta to be able to sign these agreements with Canada. It means commitment from the federal government to finally recognize what they, the courts told them they should recognize, and that is that Métis rights are existing and that our rights were never extinguished. I'm really glad to be here uh, and to have been able to witness it. Uh, it's a, an incredible a milestone. I think for young people to be participating in the in these sort of historic moments, I think is incredibly important. We we've, we've always said that throughout our history, young people have always been part of leadership. Louis Riel was 25 when he was elected president of the provisional government. I think it's really important that young people are a part of these things, and I think it's uh, it's really important that we're we're a part of what's happening. To be to be truthfully honest, I I did not think I'd be this young and and having this happen. Um, as a young person, I thought it would be something down the road. So it's it's extremely exciting to be able to be a part of this. And an agreement like this really shows who we are as a people, as a political entity, not only for ourselves, but for all Canadians to see, okay, the Métis, we are a political entity, we are a nation, and it's time to be treated as a nation. So I think today's really special for that. We're going to be able to, to do what our citizens need and want. We're going to be able to work on many things that our, that our people need. You know, there's a lot more to gain with the uh, collective than there is to have uh, separate entities. And I find with uh, Métis Nation Alberta, Métis Nation Saskatchewan, we're on the same page. And it's going to be a pleasure working with those other provinces mm -hmm. together. Well, I'm really pleased to be able to sign with Métis Nation of Ontario and the Métis Nation Saskatchewan. That was great, because now we, we, we we're all moving in that same direction. I know we have a lot to share, a lot to support each other on. It's very important. You know what, I was sitting beside one of the, the fiddlers after when she was finished and she was sitting there and I thought it's about the youth and it's about her and her future. And that's what I thought. I was so happy that we had so many young people there because the story will continue on. It's a milestone, but obviously the work and the heavy lifting will continue. Um, and for that to continue to succeed, I would encourage people to continue to work together in the spirit of the signing today. Um, and you will achieve uh, many more results for our people. And I know that's what your heart is at. Uh, and our people will be looking forward to that. So congratulations and all the best to everyone.